what's going on everyone so right now i'm about to do a freaking rant video because a lot of things i've been seeing in my comment section and other tubers comment sections have been really irking my nerves for months now and yeah i'm wearing a star wars um ugly sweater go screw you guys i'm about to go watch the movie later and turn the f up it's trying to go over it's freaking cold and i'm also drinking the world's smallest cup of coffee so shout out to starbucks but yeah man as you guys already know title of the video is called you go players are freaking stupid. I'm not going to try to curse because I do want this video to get money because why not rant on you go players and get paid for it. So, you no, know, every 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 so often us YouTubers make bandless discussion videos, bandless prediction videos, and we talk about why if you hit the best deck of the current format, you obviously have to neuter the second best deck to a degree. Reason being, if you do not, that deck will just immediately take over and become said best deck of the format. And you know, you would think that's common sense, right? You would think that's common sense, but Yu Gi Oh players don't have freaking common sense, apparently. So, you know, every so often, I don't know if they're teenagers, they're kids. I mean, I don't expect everyone to agree with me, but this is like good freaking God, bro. Like, common sense says if you hit spirals, decks like Pendulum Magicians, which are already insanely powerful, which pretty much at its peak was consistently taking over top slots and events. And decks like Pendulum Magi no, decks like Trick Stars, which are just insanely good because it burns people to death, burn baby burn, will immediately take over the tournament scene and ruin people's formats because people will not be able to play their favorite decks again, and people will still be forced to play only two decks, and everyone will bitch, rank, moan, and complain, and say how they hate Yu-Gi-Oh, then Yu-Gi-Oh will just slowly but surely die off, right? But according to a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh players, no, you, you, are you retarded? Do not hit Trick Stars, the deck has done nothing. Do not hit Pendulum Magician, the deck has done nothing. I'm just like, bruh, the deck is still doing good in an era where we pretty much have a tier 1.50 deck format. Like, there's no... There's nothing to disagree with the fact that Spirals is a tier zero deck and or was a tier zero deck. And I still believe it's a tier zero deck personally because the deck still takes the majority of the top slot. Yeah, you have other decks that can creep in there and get their slot in. But for the most part, Spirals ain't nothing beats the Spirals. Ain't nothing better than Spirals. You literally have to play 15 hand traps to compete with the deck, which is why I consider the deck a tier zero format. Correct me if I'm wrong. But, you know... You would you just think that something like that is just easy to see. You would think that, you know, players would look at the meta and be like, yeah, you know what, if we do hit spirals, we have to tone down the power of every other deck a little bit to make the, the deck and meta more balanced. So when we get new stuff coming in, like the new Goki support, the new Burning Abyss support, it doesn't get undershadow, undershadowed by the overwhelming power of these decks that we currently have. Now, granted, some of you may argue, well, Chris, if what if we do get the new support and it rivals the power of, you know, Trick Stars and Pendulum Magicians, et cetera, et cetera? I'll be like, well, you know what? I mean, I guess you can say that, but at the same time, let's be realistic. How often does that happen? As soon as Konami hit one deck, they usually always hit the other decks for good reason. Y'all yeah, remember what happened when I told y'all five reasons why, why um, True King Dinosaur deck will get hit. Last year, a lot of you guys disliked my video to my I'm retarded and I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. And guess what happened? That got neutered because they won worlds and Konami saw the deck as a threat due to the fact that they don't want players flocking to a deck that they cannot make profit off of. For you guys that do not know, Konami is a profit driven company. Highly profit driven company. They, they don't give a F about nothing else but profit. So, from a business standpoint, they definitely have to make sure that their new product sells and have to make sure that no matter what, us players are going to buy into whatever they spit out, which is the reason why we didn't get a link variance pack and the reason why we didn't, uh, we're getting uh, screwed over consistently by them is because they don't care. They want, the, they want their bottom line met. And I'm just like, man, at the end of the day, dude, you guys can think how you want to think, but if you guys can't understand something as simple as why X deck needs to get hit 
and why the, the deck power don't need to turn. You guys are crazy, bro. I mean, you guys don't have to agree with me. You guys can disagree with me. I don't really care at this point. <laughs> I mean, I mean, think about it, bro. Like Tricks and Reincarnation. No one, no one literally said a car like Tristan Reincarnation um, needs to um, need. No one, no one literally said trick stars need to get like slaughtered on the band. Like, no one's saying slaughter pendulum is All I'm saying, and I haven't watched anyone else's band list video yet, so don't quote me on this. And I'm pretty sure everyone else is saying just tone down the power a notch, just a notch. Because when you tone down the power on those decks, they'll still be playable, and the cancerous parts of them won't happen. I mean, just think about it. Who seriously likes getting their hand raped from them playing against trick stars? Nobody. Not go to the graveyard, just banish. And then you can banish the card, especially when the tricks the monster from the graveyard. Who seriously like getting their, an opponent having a, a field full of pendulums and locking you out of the board? Nobody. I mean, I just seriously don't like the fact that right now Yu-Gi-Oh! is just open up big board or bust. And, you know, a lot of players say they don't like it. But when you say, hey, let's tone down this deck to make, um, let's hit this deck, obviously, and tone down these decks so they won't be as powerful to give all the other deck a fighting chance. You can play that, nah, you're bad, you're horrible, you don't know what the F you're talking about, uh, dislike, unsub. And just like, bro, bye. Like, no, no one needs that shit, bro. If you seriously don't like the message I'm spewing on my channel or anyone else is spewing on their channel about how to make this game better, please unsubscribe. No one needs your negativity on their channel. So like I was saying, man, no one needs the negativity people spewing on their channel. So if you feel like a message is put out that somebody you watch is not something you agree with, just unsubscribe. There's nothing wrong with freaking unsubscribing. And, you know, and that's just the end of the day. But, you know, to wrap this video up, because I don't want to spew it out to be too, too long. A lot of you guys are freaking dumb. Like, some of the dumbest people I've met in my life. Now, granted, a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh players are smart. None of just going to make this video a whole doom and gloom. A lot of Yu-Gi-Oh players are really bright. Um, They understand simple things. And they know that, obviously, if you hit one thing... You have to hit the other thing to make something balanced, you know? But I don't know what to say about y'all, man. Y'all need help. I mean, just stuff, the stuff I see in Zodiac Duelists, like I said, the stuff I see at locals, regionals, YCS, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you know, like I said, I'm not the best player in the world, I'm not the most gifted player in the world. Hell, I might not be the most charismatic YouTuber in the world. You guys might just think I'm dumb, and you guys might just think I don't know what I'm talking about. And you guys might just feel like, well, you know, this guy's retarded, haha, <laughs> unsub or whatever. But it's just like, man, I just be reading y'all comments, and I just cringe. I'm just like, these gotta be teenagers, bro. These gotta be freaking like preteens. And, you know, some of them, I remember I was on this one dude's channel, whose channel I forgot. And I'm arguing back and forth with this um this guy in the chat. So, you know, me being me, I'm just like, let me check this dude. That dude talking a lot. Of, he got a lot of mouth on him. Let me just check him out to see if that's somebody I know in the community. If I could check his ass if I was seeing him at an event. When I go to this dude's channel, he like 13, bro. I'm like, oh, hell no, nah, bro. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, what am I doing with myself? I, I had to check myself on that. I'm like, man, let me... We stop arguing with these internet trolls, man. These, these these are little kids who don't understand too much of anything. But, but I, I just think, like, when I, when I was a 12, 13-year-old Yu-Gi-Oh! player, I understood if X deck get hit, Y deck has to get hit to make X format better. It's common sense. Like, what do you guys think, man? Am I just crazy? Like, am I just missing something? I mean, there's a lot of reasons you, <clears throat> you guys probably came to the video thinking, like, I was on this Yu-Gi-Oh players. I mean, there, and there's a lot of reasons I think y'all are dumb outside of just not understanding the basic concept of Yu-Gi-Oh. Spending dumb amounts of money on decks, I think that's dumb. But it's more of a rich man thing. If you got it and you're a hobbyist like myself, go for it. Um, you know, blinging out decks just to go to locals, that, that's, that, that's just a retarded. Like, unless you're just, like I said, once again, a hobbyist. Um, you know, there, there's as many things I can rant about and how crazy Yu-Gi-Oh! players are. 
but nothing makes me more rage more than when I may upload a video with good reasoning. And instead of saying a nice thought out comment saying they disagree with me or agree with me, I get, ah, oh, you're, you're, you're stupid. You, you don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Dex, this deck is not doing anything, even though it's doing something. And if the best deck gets hit, this deck is going to rain on top. Like, mind blown. So tell me what y'all think, man. Post your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Just a quick little rant video, man. And um, I just had to get this off my chest. Just woke up, truthfully. Should drink some wine, but I'm not. Trying to go it's cold. Anyway, it's YGL, the world's smallest cup of coffee. And I'm signing out. Peace and stay innovative. Deuces.